Hello, I am Remo Yes Man, and if you don't know what we do here, we like to talk about general gaming news while playing some Warframe. And today, today I would like to talk about the Suicide Squad, because despite all the negativity around this game, I want to talk about the actual brand itself, because the brand of the Suicide Squad and the brand of the Justice League are being destroyed because of what Warner Brothers and Rocksteady are doing by releasing this game. Some of you guys may not agree, but they are literally destroying the brand that is Batman, Superman, the Justice League, the Flash, the Suicide Squad, etc. And it's crazy that they're engaging in brand destruction this way because it's all a result of this game being very poorly executed to fit a live service archetype. Now, this shit is also a result of bad writing, and if you still want to play this piece of shit ass game, then don't watch this video because there's going to be major spoilers ahead. Now first off, I don't know who greenlit this game, but the Suicide Squad was never even that popular. Even in the 80s and 90s when the comic series was going, it wasn't that popular. So I'm guessing the game got greenlit around the time the movie came out, but the fucking movie flopped. The only reason a lot of people watch the movie is because all of the name recognition Batman and the Joker had in the DC universe. But when you got in the theater and you watched that fucking movie, the fucking movie stunk up that whole fucking theater. Literally the best part of that movie is when Deadshot hops on top of that car and just starts mowing down a fuck ton of enemies. Otherwise, the whole movie was extremely bland and generic, just like the game. Now listen, I'm not against the superhero or the protagonist of the story getting killed. Like I watch a fuck ton of anime and oftentimes in anime you see the protagonist of the story die in some of the most horrific ways. And to be honest, when it comes to superhero stories, oftentimes when it comes to superhero movies or superhero stories, the most endearing scenes in a superhero movie are the scenes where the hero or the protagonist fails or falls or dies trying, you know, dies fighting for what they believe in. When they die spectacularly in the movie, it gives you chills and you're like, damn, you know, if I was them, I would want to go out like that. But instead, in Suicide Kill the Justice League, the deaths of the superheroes are so poorly done and they're played out in such a disrespectful manner that it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Now, quick disclaimer, I didn't buy the game and I didn't play the game, but I watched the entire story because the entire game could be completed in eight hours and there were people streaming that shit during early, early access. And oftentimes, when a game has a lot of negativity associated with this, I don't purchase it day one because I want to make an informed decision. And it's sad to see this bullshit coming from Rocksteady. And now that they released this, I don't know if they could even make a confident single player game anymore. You really needed people to like this game, but instead, the story is really short because as a live service game, you need people to quickly get to the end game content so they can start spending money. Then on top of that, not only does a lot of the stuff in the game not even make sense from a lore perspective, but all of the gameplay seems to be this dull, repetitive jump from roof to roof and shoot the objective so you can proceed or some variant of an escort mission or go here and defend this. And there's a few more mission archetypes, but very few. And trust me, it's nothing you would be interested in and nothing you haven't seen in every other live service game that featured some form of shooting. If you want to mindlessly turn off your brain and shoot enemies, just go play Warframe. Suicide Squad's gameplay is literally a shittier version of Warframe. Suicide Squad's gameplay is Warframe without the Warframe abilities, without the diverse weapon archetypes, without the advanced movement, and with seemingly more of a focus on live service. If you ever played any MMO type game with guns, you've already experienced about 75% of what this game offers in its entirety in terms of gameplay. Hell, 
You can even download Destiny and go play that as a free player. And I know Destiny's not in the best state it's been in throughout the game's life cycle, but as a free player, you can access just as much content or more than Suicide's campaign offers in its entirety. Now, apparently, Rocksteady never learned the lesson from The Last of Us Part 2 when it comes to killing off beloved characters in a very disrespectful manner because you might alienate a huge portion of the player base. And this is exactly what they do with The Flash because when you finally do kill The Flash, they all gather ar around The Flash trying to be somewhat sincere. But then Captain Boomerang walks up and whips out his dick and he takes a piss on The Flash and people start to call him out on it at first, but then they all stop to compliment him on his dick size because apparently dude has a massive dick and everybody feels the need to compliment him on his dick size as he's pissing on the flash. And first of all, the flash is powered by the fucking speed force. I know they're doing this whole brainiac mind control garbage to justify this game, but none of these clowns would ever be able to beat the flash. The Flash would kill all these fucking clowns at the same time. Apparently they don't understand the gravity of the Speed Force. And even Ezra Miller's version of the Flash doesn't deserve to go out like this. This is just absolute garbage. Next, let's move on to the Green Lantern because these guys have a big ass showdown with the Green Lantern. But after they take the Green Lantern down, I guess some of the Lantern's constructs are still up and they're being controlled by the Green Lantern's ring. So while Green Lantern's on the ground, Deadshot just comes up and shoots him in the face. And first of all, that's black on black crime. But second, then Shark comes over and bites the ring off his hand and puts it on and the ring just works. And that makes absolutely no sense from a lore perspective. You cannot just put on a fucking Green Lantern ring. Hell, you may not even be able to get that ring off his finger because the ring may still even protect his body even in death. You know, you'd have to be chosen by the Green Lantern ring in order to even use that. But on top of that, in the most recent version of the Green Lantern, Green Lantern wasn't even black, but they brought back the black version of Green Lantern. They brought back the 2004 Green Lantern, and to be fair, that is the best version of Green Lantern, but how you bring back the black dude just to kill him in this way, that's fucked up. Next, let's talk about Batman, because Batman is hunting the Suicide Squad, but he does eventually get overwhelmed and taken down, and when he gets taken down, Harley does this long ass monologue before simply shooting Batman in the face. And first of all, you would never be able to take out Batman like that. Batman's way too fucking smart. Batman would find a way to come out on top of the Suicide Squad and to come out on top of Brainiac and he'd probably end up saving everybody's ass. Batman made your fucking studio what it is today and you guys are just in such a hurry to kill the man off in such a disrespectful manner. Like without Batman, what the fuck is your studio? So to mismanage the Batman IP like this is an absolute travesty. Like when you look at Spider-Man and what Sony does with that IP, Sony does right by the Spider-Man IP. They know how cherished and loved Spider-Man is in the community, so they probably wouldn't just kill Spider-Man off in the first place. And if they did, it would be a lot more artfully done than what Rocksteady has done here. Because what Rocksteady has done here, it just comes across as goofy and disrespectful and it's extremely hard to stomach. Now, the Superman fight was also awful and didn't make a lot of sense from a lore perspective, but it wasn't as egregiously done as some of the ways the other characters were killed off. But what was pretty egregious is the way they dealt with Wonder Woman's death because the double standard is so real here. Do you think Wonder Woman got disrespected? Fuck no, she didn't. Wonder Woman's death is actually handled very respectfully. And it's crazy because after all that bullshit that they did with the other characters, Wonder Woman gets a very respectful send off. 
She wasn't disrespected like Batman. She didn't have her hand bitten off like the motherfucking Green Lantern. And she wasn't pissed on like the Flash. She actually got quite a respectful send off and people mourned her death. Like, I'm so done. Everything in this game was handled so disrespectfully, but when it comes to Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman gets a fucking respectful send off. That's complete bullshit. Why not just have fucking Wonder Woman get beheaded by Harley and have you spend the rest of the game playing Harley Quinn as Wonder Woman since you guys already fucked everything else up? But I don't know. Maybe I'm just jaded because I'm a DC fan and I grew up with these characters. But if the medium is artfully done, you're gonna like it either way. Like, I don't know if you guys ever watch Flashpoint Paradox, but Flashpoint Paradox was way more violent than anything featured in Suicide Squad. Like, if you ever watch Flashpoint Paradox, Wonder Woman murks almost everybody. Wonder Woman and the Amazonians have such a high body count, they kill more people than I can even count. Like, at one point, Wonder Woman even fucks Aquaman and Mira sees it and Mira gets mad about that so Mira confronts Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman beheads fucking Mira. Wonder Woman beheads Mira and holds her head up too. Like, Wonder Woman killed a bunch of people. Like, there was a bunch of people dying in there but Wonder Woman definitely had one of the highest body counts. And it's crazy when you watch the movie because of how violent it is. You don't expect to see this shit coming from a DC movie, but the shit is so artfully done, I guarantee you would enjoy it. If you haven't seen Flashpoint Paradox, I highly recommend it. Anyway guys, that's all for me. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Likes, comments, subs are all greatly appreciated. Now the best thing you guys can do for me at this point is just to have a beautiful day. And don't buy this shit.